Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we're going to do a review of Voltron Legendary Defender Season 8. So uh, the reason why I'm doing this review um, is because I didn't watch the Season 8 um, when it first came out because I don't know the reason, well because a lot of YouTubers who reviewed the show gave it a bad review. So I was thinking that, oh this season didn't do so well, <clears throat> but that's quite the opposite. One day, like a couple weeks ago, I finally got the nerve to binge watch the last season of Voltron, season 8, and I loved it. Like, the YouTubers who um, bombed the reviews, like, they were completely off. This was really good, especially the ending. Um, I really enjoyed this season. Um, the way it ended was sad for me, but it was really good. And um, I'm going to tell you why I really liked um, this last season of Voltron Legendary Defender. So it starts off, um, the Paladins of Voltron um, are taking people from Earth to help the Voltron Coalition um, that they made uh, a couple seasons ago. So um, the Coalition is having trouble. Voltron's going there to help rebuild it and to um, fight uh, the Golra Empire. Um, but they find out that the Golra Empire is weakening. Um, and they also find out that a rogue beast that attacked them in the last season, there's more sightings of them. And so eventually um, they follow these rogue beasts and they find Hagar, but now she calls herself Orbana. And she's brainwashed all these Altaians into thinking that Voltron is the enemy because they killed Lotor, the one who provided them um, a safe place um, while Altaians were um, being purged. Anyway, Orbana, also called Hagar, is using the Altaians uh, to attack the paladins of Voltron. And this is really getting to Princess Allura because she believed she was the last Altaian and now her people are working with her enemy, um, Hagar Orvana, and she's conflicted. She wants to help them, she wants to protect them, but she's also thinking that they're too far gone and uh, she's got to do what she's got to do. Um, to like, help the universe, save the universe, help the Voltron Coalition. Man, the team's torn and they're like, well, if there's a way for us to tell them the truth and for them to not fight against us, then we should try that. And eventually, um, the people, um, the Altaians who are following Arvana, some of them figure out the truth and know that um, Orvana is lying to them and Voltron is actually a good guy and Prince Lotor, even though he helped the Altaians, he had an ulterior motive. It wasn't purely good. Um, so <clears throat> one of my favorite scenes is when Orvana goes into the sacred Altaian place. She kills like the guardian and then she brings back Lotor's mech, but Lotor isn't really in there. <clears throat> so she has Lotor's mech and she has her own special mech. And her grand scheme is to go to a different timeline or to a different reality where she has her son Lotor and her husband Zarkon. And she doesn't care how she does it, she's even willing to wipe out other timelines in order to do so. So Voltron, um, the paladins of Voltron, have to go and um, to where Orbana is and um, prevent her from wiping out all the timelines essentially. And while they're there, um, while they're doing that, they find the old paladins of Voltron and they help free them from Orbana's mind because when she killed them she took their quintessence and somehow stored them in their brain and there stored them in her brain and from there they went mad and stuff but the new paladins of Voltron helped free the old ones 
and um, there's this really cool scene um, when um, Orbana takes her Mac and Motor's Mac and combines them together. She does this so that she can go through different realities and stuff. But basically, when she, those two mechs combine, they're too powerful for Voltron. So Voltron combines with the Atlas to become powerful enough to defeat um, Orbana's new mech. And you have all these scenes where they're traveling through different realities and stuff. Um, but the ending's really, really sad. Because um, when they defeat Orbana and um, they restore the timelines, um, Allura, Princess Allura has to sacrifice herself in order to do so. So she uses her Altaian alchemy and stuff to restore the timelines and bring back her homeworld, Altea. And this is some artwork I got from Anime Dallas. I bought this because of the last season of Voltron Legendary Defender. So I really enjoyed the show. It was really good. Um, wish I hadn't listened to those YouTube reviews, which I, I wish I had seen it sooner. But I'm glad I watched it, and the vendor who I bought this from, he watched it recently. We both loved it. That's why I had to get it. I wanted the poster of that, but they didn't have it left. So, I have settled for the scroll, which is cool. So, that's all we have for today. Thank you for um, watching this video. If you like what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you have a great day.